What's up, YouTube? Well, today I'm starting a pantry for my wife. So here in the entrance of our home, we have a little closet for the coats. So I'm gonna try to turn it into a pantry. So follow me in my journey of converting this little closet into a pantry. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so I got it cleaned up. Um, I patched all the, like the little imperfections, little holes or whatever. And now um, I need to find the studs so I could start um, installing the, the shelving. What's what's gonna hold the shelves? Um, so I, I have one of these stud finders and I already marked some of them right here, this one. And then here, and for some reason there's another one here. And then same thing on this edge. So all you do is you get your thing, you turn it on and you drag it. And then right there, that's the edge of the stud. So then you come this way and there's the other edge. So, you know, somewhere in the middle right there, I'll put it. So I already did, um, I already marked here and on the, on the other side, the corners. So all I need is a metal one. So, so it has to be all the way to the bottom. See, so there it is. So um, I'll start building the. Um, I don't even know what you call them, but uh, whatever's gonna hold the shelves, and um, I'll do. It. All right, guys. So I'm over here in the garage now. Um, so this is the material that I bought. These are one by twos. Um, and then I bought that particle board we're going to paint them white so i'll be cutting the long piece this one here will be 31 and a fourth and then these are going to be 15 and a half so i need to do seven i'm going to be able to fit seven shelves on the pantry so stay tuned you can see a little bit uh, me in action cutting some of these boards later Alright guys, I already started putting the frame for the shelves. Um, so what I learned is that, see this crack right here? So you got to do a, oh my, you got to start it up with a hole here so that it doesn't split on you. So that's what I did on this one. You know, you drill, you drill it. One of these first, with your drill bit, and then you can make a little pocket hole with this. And then, so now here's my line that's level already. So now I'm gonna put it on just to show you how I'm doing it. Make sure you put your level so that you're dead on straight. There you go, right there. Then you get your impact driver. You need one of these, an impact driver. And it goes in like butter. There you go. And you just do the sides. Moving your level so that you make sure that it is straight. There you go. one so that's what I've been doing um so here here's the side one so I'm, what I'm doing on these couple shelves they're gonna go 16 inch deep um and um and right here I did two together because um we're gonna 
My wife is gonna get some storage like for containers, like those soda ones, so that they drop. And then uh, once you grab the one up front, you know, it'll rotate itself. And then here on top, I'm gonna do smaller ones, like 12 inch shelves to make everything fit better. Alright guys, I'm back here, um, so now I need to paint the shelves that I'm going to use, and like I said earlier, I'm going to use particle board, it was just a lot cheaper, and um, the guy said it's good for shelves, so we're going to do that, we're going to paint it white, so I already have three of them ready, there's three, I'm um, going to just show a little bit how I do it, I know you guys, a lot of you guys know how to paint, but this is how I do it. It's easier to use a roller since I already have painted the walls. Why not just continue doing the shelves? It'll be a lot faster. Am I the only one that uses those USPS boxes for painting? Or do you guys do it too? Let me know in the comments. Is it wrong for me to do that? What do you guys think? There it is, I'm doing it. And then the sides, I know some people will put that um, little trim. I'm just gonna paint it. My wife doesn't really care about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it. And this should look good. Everyone says that this is the least thing to do, the painting part. I mean, I don't really care for it. I'll do it if I have to, but same. I don't like it that much. But there you go. So this is how I'm going to paint them. I'm not going to paint those edges because that's going to be hidden on the wall. So it's just this front one right here. And that should be it. So I got three more to do and I'll be done. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to finish it off once it dries. Well, actually, I got to come back and do the other side. So I'm going to just let them dry for a few hours. Come back and do the other side. I think the one coat should be enough. Because my wife is going to cover it anyways with, um, what do you call that thing? Um, to protect the shelves. All right guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I'm already done with these. The shelves are dry. I didn't show these three cause they were kind of hard to put in cause um, the walls like always are never level. So these are 16 inch deep and then the next one we did it 14 inch and then we did and then we did 12 inch Last one, we also did 12. There we go.
So the reason we did 14 inches here on this one is so we could have more space to put stuff here on these smaller ones, 12 inch. So we went kind of all the way up. So we got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves. So that's what we got. And then next I'll just show some pictures pictures after it's all full of stuff. So there you go. Closet turned into a pantry. So hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. I know the video quality and the sound is not the best because I don't got equipment for that. But there you go, man. Thank you. See you guys.